So the next time you watch a baseball game on TV, they're going to put up this screen and the announcer is going to say something like, Wally's having a great year because he has more RBIs than anybody else on the team. And you should not listen to this man because RBIs are misleading. Why is that? Let's say in the first game, Wally gets up and he hits a home run. And so everybody would then clap for him and be happy. And then the next batter, Gus, gets up and he hits a home run. So in the view of most people and in the view of RBIs included, these two players are equal because each player got one RBI for what they did. Now let's say in the next game, Larry leads off the inning with a triple, and then Wally comes up and he hits another home run. And everybody's happy, and then Gus gets up following Wally, and he hits another home run. So again, in the eyes of most people, Wally and Gus did the same thing, and therefore they would be equal. That makes sense to me. But in the view of RBIs, Wally is the better player because Wally drove in two runs as opposed to Gus's one run. And therefore, we see the shortcoming of RBIs. Wally did not help Larry reach base in any way, but it helped Wally's RBI count. And likewise, it was not Gus's fault that nobody was on base when he hit. And so we see that solo home runs are in fact the only thing that do not require help from another teammate in order for a player to get an RBI. And being that baseball is set up the way that it is, one player cannot affect the outcome of another teammate's at bat. And so therefore, it is beyond their control whether or not there is anybody on base or not whenever they are up to bat. And therefore, RBIs are relying on events out of players' control. And so, throughout the season, Wally had 100 at bats with a runner on third base. He had a batting average of 300 in those at bats, and therefore a total of 30 RBIs. Gus, on the other hand, had half of that number of at bats with a runner on third base, and even though he still hit for the same average, he only ended up with 15 RBIs. And so it's important to note what RBIs do not tell you, and that is how many at bats a player had with runners on base, how many at-bats a player's had with runners in scoring position, what a player's batting average or on-base average with runners on base was, and what spot the player hit in the batting order, because it's been statistically proven that some spots in the batting order come up with guys on base more often than others. So when that announcer says, Wally's having a great year, he very well may be having a great year, but it is not because of the number of RBIs that he has.